everyone, Carmen Broxma here with Choose Joy with Carmen. And welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am so excited to announce that Alicia from Call Me Crafty Owl has invited me to join her collaboration team called Oh So Inspired. The basic premise is that we can all be inspired, including you, by other artists, no matter their style, skill level, medium, etc. So, each month on the 20th, all of us on the team will upload our videos by 9 a.m. Central Time and show you what we have created using the inspiration piece for that month. To see the videos that the other team members have created, you can click on the hashtag in the title of this video or in the description box below. We have noticed though that the hashtags work great for the most part, but at other times it might pull up some videos that aren't part of this hashtag. The joys of technology, right? So with that being said, in the description box below, there is a team channel link list and a playlist link that you can use if you find you are having problems. However, these links need to be updated to so give Alicia some time to get them updated shortly after we have uploaded our videos. So here's a picture of this month's inspiration that was created by JJ Bolton. And you can find a link to this card in the description box below. And if you want to play along and create your own design from this inspiration, we would love to see what you create. You can post to any social media platforms use, using the hashtag that is also provided in the description below. So now let's see what I created and stick around to the end to hear my thoughts on my card. Okay, so here is my card that I created. And if you notice, um, off to the side here, I have the inspiration piece that we were using this month. And the one thing that I noticed on that card is that she had done the sentiment on the vellum in um, a white embossing powder. But I was not, I'm not very 
good at embossing words because you have to have that the detail um, embossing powder in order for it to to look good especially I mean if you have chunky letters like she has here it probably works out okay but the sentiment that I'm using was not chunky and so I needed a detailed um, embossing powder and I didn't really like what it looked like when I did it on the vellum. So what I did is I went ahead and used the, um, I just used my, um, you know, classic Stampin' Pad from Stampin' Up. And when I, as you noticed in the process, when I stamped it, I just kind of heated it up a little bit with my heat gun so that um, it would dry before I started using it. But I really like the way it turned out. I think I I was very I was inspired by the vellum because I don't use vellum a whole lot. So the card inspired me to do that, and I loved that there was like like a busy background. So that's why I ended up pulling in that paper that is um, you know from this paper pack right here. Love it, and then. I liked, I didn't want to do a square or like that where the sentiment held, so I went ahead and pulled in my um, favorite stylish shapes and did that on around my sentiment. Now here's the thing that I don't like, is I went ahead and used the, um, the strips of Stampin' Dimensionals that Stampin' Up! sells, and it popped because I wanted it popped up a little higher. But I don't like the fact that you can see it. So if I had this card to do over again, I would definitely probably just do this shape several times and stack it on top of each other to give it that raised look. So that when you looked at it from all angles, all you would see would be that. So that's what I would change. Alrighty, well I hope you are inspired by my card, by the cards of the rest of the team members and by the card that we used for our inspiration. And until my next video, hope you're all having a wonderful time crafting. And remember, choose joy and may God bless you all. Bye-bye.